Good morning, Husky Light here. Uh, nice to see you. Sorry, I'm um, a little bit late this morning. Um, Easter. Easter egg competition at school. Why do the parents always end up making it and doing it? That was me this morning trying to dry Easter eggs and glue and, and pom-poms onto eggs and all sorts this morning. So that, I apologise, that's why I'm a little late with the reading this morning um but i'm here now i'm also in my front room this morning uh for a change with my my husky on the settee behind me who shouldn't be on the settee um she's naughty uh there you go right uh your reading for today for thursday the 2nd of april 2015 and we start off with a lovely card we start oh and also our new glasses because I couldn't see a thing before, so I've been forced, <laughs> almost, um, to have to go and get some some new glasses. So there you go. And I still can't see properly. Anyway, right, our first card today is Healthy Choices. Let me straighten that up for you. Your angels are encouraging you to make healthy choices for your body, your mind and your soul. Looking after your soul energy is one step, but having a balanced diet and a healthy relationship will all contribute to your spiritual growth. You are a pillar of strength. Ensure that you look after your inner light. Angels are able to send as much clear, so much clearer messages when we are in alignment with the parts of our body with our being, our mind, our body and soul. Choosing to have positive, loving and grateful thoughts is the first step. Looking after your body and what you feed it is the second step. Taking care of your soul by checking in with your universe, your guides, your angels and doing your daily spiritual practice is the final one. These are all healthy choices that will increase your growth. So eating well, drinking lots of water, I mean it's common common sense things for us to do in our daily life but you know sometimes we skip the salad and we have pizza instead <laughs> because it's easier because we have kids because whatever I've I've given up smoking and I am putting on weight like I don't know what at the moment and um, it's something that I'm going to have to to curb I'm going to have to start putting in more exercise I'm going to have to cut out um, you know I've gone vegetarian but I still have vegetarian pizzas so I'm going to have to put more salads in there at the moment and just eat more healthily and get more exercise and we can all do that. So that is our bodily, uh, that's looking after our body. Um, we look after our mind and our soul by having loving thoughts every day, by thinking nice things, by being positive. All of that helps. All of that is really good for us and this is what our Healthy Choice card is saying today. Um let's be healthy and when we're healthier the angels are so much closer to us they can get their messages through to us clearer if we're adults with you know too many radicals in our food and and dairy and all sorts of stuff stuffing up our our bodies uh we've not been drinking enough water our minds are not clear enough they can't get through to us so this is what we need to watch out for today um our second card and hopefully my son's not going to walk in at this point <laughs> my second card uh for the day our card is new beginnings which is really good now we are it's the second of april we're into the new beginnings i keep harping on about it but this solar eclipse on the fourth and um, we're definitely moving into new times new ways of thinking um, hopefully most of us have left behind what we need to leave behind because it doesn't serve us anymore. Relationships weren't right for us. Things were not good for us. Um, and because our, I think for some of us, because our mindsets have changed so much, things that were good for us back then are just no good for us now. So, uh, yes. So we've got the new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Let's get you in there. A new opportunity is coming your way and your angels are helping you to walk through the door with ease. You may have felt resistance recently or you may have felt stuck. But there is a new beginning that you've been seeking. It's here. 
Take the chance to claim the freedom that you deserve. Allow yourself to detach from the dramas and challenges that have been standing in your way and to move forward. So it's all about getting positive today and just striving forward and moving forward, leaving stuff behind. Um, the new doors are opening for you to move forward, to go into. Um, I spoke with somebody last night and we were saying how we feel like the past few days we've sort of felt like we were in, how did she put it? An airlock chamber. We're in an airlock where we've the door behind us is closed. Now we can't get out of that door, we can't go back, we can't reopen it, we can't go back through it. And we've got the door in front of us, but we can't open that either at the moment. Um, so we're in this little airlock chamber. Um, and it was a really, really good anal analogy of how to say it and, and how we feel at the moment. And it's all because we're in the middle of, of the eclipses and everything's about to to change and go forward. And there's a lot of changes that we've already made um, that you don't notice, but when you look back at all these little changes are all tiny little steps. But when you look back, you go, wow, I've come so far. I've made all these little steps and not realized I've made all these little steps. And now when I look back um, and see where I am today compared to as I was, you know, a year ago, two weeks ago even, you think, wow, I've come a really long way. I've changed um, an awful lot. So this card indicates that the new opportunity being presented to you at this time is divinely guided. Whether it be a new relationship, a new home, a new career, a new child, embrace and enjoy the exciting and prosperous new beginning that is being brought to you by God and his angels. This is exciting and abundant light surrounding you now. So everything is getting really exciting. Um, I'm really, really looking forward now um, to the lunar eclipse. I hope everybody out there is too. Um, it's getting exciting. You can feel the energy um, around us build, starting to build up now. Um, not so much today. I think it's a void moon today, but definitely, uh, I mean, tomorrow's a fantastic day. It's all moving forward. Um, slowly getting amazing you should your your mood should be improving every day and getting better and the last card that we have got look there's my little gears she's on the settee as well and i'm sat on the floor doing my cards hey hey <laughs> and the last card today is the miracle of nature the angels are encouraging you to take yourself outside and connect with the miracle of nature a miracle is a shift of perception and the angels can see there are many thoughts in your head that are making you feel confused and even unsure as to what you're supposed to be doing. Take some time to go outside and connect with Mother Nature. Breathe fresh air into your lungs and disconnect from whatever is happening in your home, your relationships or your work. Please Jeannie, while I'm trying to do a reading. I love you too. No, please. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness me, I've lost where I was up to now. Just hold on a minute. Um, you may feel locked in or you may feel that you've been spending far too much time indoors. Um, whatever the weather is now, there is something powerful and enlightening about going outside and connecting with the sound of howling huskies and the songs of nature. Go outdoors and walk, speak to your angels, enjoy the beauty of the plants, the countryside, the park that you connect with as you walk and breathe. Know that there are angels all around you, helping you to enjoy the simple things in life and encouraging you to disconnect from trivial dramas that aren't serving your purpose, which is what I said earlier on that we've we've moved on we've moved on for the trivial rubbish that we we had to get rid of that we had to move forward from um the situations the people not serviting the, the negative around us and if there's any negative lingering um it may be that we've spent you know a good few days now not going out as much as we usually do i have i know i have i've been doing obviously the the monthly readings and in England, it's been really, really windy lately. It's been horrible, and I don't like going out in the wind. I just don't. 
so I stayed in um, a lot more than I have done. So it's time to get out in nature, it's time to hug that tree, it's time to get the dogs out for a walk, it's time um, to connect yourself with nature and get grounded again with um, with Mother Earth and, and feel the connection um, and feel at one with what's going on around you. So I hope you enjoyed um, your cards for today. They're beautiful cards, all of them. New beginnings, healthy, get out into nature. Um, all very, very positive cards today. There's not a lot of um, not a lot of clearing to be done anymore. It's time to, to get there. It's time to move forward. It's, it's time to go for it now. And um, yeah, so brilliant. So I will try and get um, the rest of the readings out today, your, your monthly readings. Apologise for them being a little bit slow, but as I say, with kids and Huskies and everything else, um, I'm getting through them as fast as, as I can. Um, also, on the 5th, watch out, I will be announcing the actual accommodation of where we're going in Scotland. So get your bookings in um, and I'll speak to you then about that. But for now, um, namaste, blessings and light and uh, peace out. <laughs>